We're so excited this year for a fourth year running to be working in partnership with Iris Prize on this year's film festival. Who, who are Iris? What's the Iris Prize? Iris Prize are one of the largest LGBTQ film festivals in the world. Gosh, never heard of it. And how, how is the co-op involved with them? Co-op has been doing a number of things over the last four years. We've hosted film nights with Respect and their friends here in Manchester. We also run the uh, Iris on the Move, where we're educating and informing our students at the academies on LGBT Q plus issues. So, what, so what's happening this year then? Well this year, because of the issues that we're experiencing as a pandemic, it's going to be all online. It's free. So everybody can join. Oh that's great. So um, the whole country will be able to see it, everybody? Everybody will be able to see the event this year. You'll be able to see up to 50 plus films, all from a spectrum of different uh, angles and different journeys from LGBTQ plus filmmakers and actors. The event covers seven awards from Best British, International. We've also got an Audience Award, which is going to be sponsored by Co-op this year. Anybody who watches any of the films will be able to vote for their favourite film. By voting, you automatically get entered into a prize draw from where you will then be selected at random as one of the lucky winners. Fantastic. And what are the prizes? Prize for two people, all expenses paid, accommodation, travel, Entrance to all areas, VIP, next year, 2021. So tune in this year. It's free. The platform is available for you to watch the films, vote and join in. Come and have some fun. That sounds amazing. And what better way to enjoy um, these films than with two of our delicious recipes? Hi, Izzy. Hiya. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Good, good. I'm really pleased that you've come along today to show one of the amazing recipes that we've got from our wonderful quality products. Uh, what, are you, what are you going to do for us today? So we're going to make a sour lemon and berry vodka crush cocktail. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to be using our irresistible vodka um, and some lemonade and some berries as well. Um, but first up, we have made this lemon syrup. So I've basically, what I've done is juiced four lemons, Amazing. added 75 grams of sugar, just caster sugar, yeah. and then also just 50 millilitres of water. Okay. Um, got that in a pan and then boiled it and then that's just our lemon syrup. Okay, so and how long did that usually take to boil? Oh, not long at all, it's just to try and kind of bring it all together and yeah. dissolve the sugar, so five minutes maximum. Amazing, and what about with the juicing? How did you manage to get the juicing done? What did you use? Was it a well, spoon or was it a proper juicer? <laughs> you can use a proper juicer if you have one, but I didn't have one today, so I just used a fork and yeah. old uh, school. So. The reason I ask is because I don't have a juicer, so perfect, I'll use a fork. <laughs> Excellent, um, thank you. So yeah, that's the um, base of our cocktail. Yeah. Um, so the next thing we need to do is make the berries all crushed up together. Wonderful. So first up, I'm going to get um, a pack of blueberries. So I've just got 150 grams of the co-op blueberries here. Perfect. And I'm just going to add that into um, the blender. I'm loving the colour combinations. The colour combinations for me, it's almost like we, we've got a little bit of a pride flag going on. It's going to look amazing. Oh, wow. The all, all yeah, that would be beautiful. Um, so I've got one pack of co-op blueberries uh -huh. and I've got one pack of co-op blackberries. And this is, again, 150 grams. So amazing. I'm just going to add half of those into the mixer. Okay, and why did you choose this particular cocktail for today? It's just a really fresh and just easy cocktail to make at home and berries you can find at the co-op, lemons, vodka, lemonade. It's nothing too fancy. Oh, amazing. And would I be able to use any of the frozen fruits if I haven't got any fresh? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you need to put ice in this anyway, so if you just blend it up as you would with the fresh berries, it would work great. And would that change any of the flavour combinations? or? No, it would just make it okay. a bit cooler and obviously it would go well with the lemon. So for the film festival, this is going to be a great opportunity for uh, a quick cocktail to be made pre during and post I film? Mean, you can drink it before, as um, if you want to do a whole night of it, or you can you know, just have it as a nice cocktail to drink during um, and refreshing afterwards as well. Ah. So um, I've got the blackberries and the blueberries just in the blender here. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just going to go off camera and blend them because they're obviously going to be quite loud. Okay. Um, and then after I've blended those, I'll separately blend the raspberries because then they'll make a nice look in the, in the glass. Wow, I look forward to seeing what it looks like. Oh. Thanks, Izzy. Right, so I've been to blend these. I've already blended the blueberries and blackberries together. Amazing. And then I'll just take the raspberries out of the blender as well. Is it as easy to be able to mush these up in a cup if we don't have the blender at home? What's, yeah, you don't what's need the a alternative? Necessarily. I guess um, it's 
just kind of making it all crushed together and okay. um, you'll see that the texture of this is is quite liquidy because yeah. it's blended it whereas if you were to crush them there may be quite a lot of seeds so yeah. you would maybe want to just sieve them out okay lovely and will you be watching any of the films this year at the festival absolutely one of these cocktails in hand yeah um, i'm looking forward to the the best of british one for sure obviously you know amazing this, this cocktail has obviously the british berries in it and yeah. it just work really well um, and obviously whilst I'm watching it, I'll uh, be taking part in the Audience Award as Amazing. well. Amazing. So Sponsored by Co-op this year, which is going to be such a great opportunity. Yes, so looking forward yeah. to hopefully winning that one, as obviously everyone can that, that is watching. Yeah, excellent. Well, that's it. The more you watch, the more you vote, the more chances you've got of winning. <laughs> um, so we've got the blueberries and blackberries, and we've got the raspberries. Okay. So we're now going to get a glass. Okay. So I'm just going to get a nice wine glass. Um, when you're making cocktails at home, I think that... You always focus on the, the, the glass that you're going to drink it out of and yep. it just makes it feel a little bit more special. Uh -huh. So the first thing I'm going to add is the vodka. So we've just got the Coke Irresistible Vodka here, mm -hmm. this is the French grain one. And I'm not a big vodka drinker, so what's the alternative? I guess, I mean, it's quite easy for this cocktail. So you can have the, the obviously both of the berries, you can have the, the vodka or you can add gin yeah. or if you like rum. Uh -huh. um, yeah, gin would work quite nicely as like a summery yeah. drink as well. And if I was going low alcohol or no alcohol, is there an alternative with that one? I guess you don't have to add alcohol if you don't want to. Yeah. You'll see the, the, just the lemon syrup and the, and the berries with the, with the lemonade or you can use soda water, that sort of thing. Amazing, excellent. So first up, we're going to just add a shot of the vodka. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that sound. <laughs> um, now, the berries that we've mixed is actually going to be for four, so I'm just going to make one at the moment. Okay. Um, so we've added the vodka into there. Yeah. And then we're just going to add a little bit of the syrup. So I'd say about, about two shots worth. Okay. Now, so we've got just the vodka and the lemon syrup uh -huh. in here, and then we're going to add the just the blackberries and blueberries. Wow, it's quite a thick consistency, but it looks delicious. So that's just going to be mixed in there. And yeah. Just give it a little quick stir with the with the fork. Now, next up, I'm just going to add some ice into here. Yeah. So we're just going to fill it up with some ice. Um, if you, the more ice you put in the drink, the actual the cooler it keeps itself, so it okay. doesn't um, melt down. Yeah. People always don't like a lot of ice in their drink, but mm -hmm. actually, it's better if you have more. Yeah. And have you been doing anything this year through the Pride months? I know that we've had a very different year this year. Yeah, it's yeah. Not quite the parties that have been of previous years, but uh -huh. I guess, I mean, it'll be great to just get involved with the Irish uh, Prize Festival as well and, uh, you mm -hmm. know, enjoy a drink instead. Yeah, amazing. And I think this year, because obviously we are going digital, yes. you know, the platform is available for everybody to be able to connect. So we've got a far wider reaching audience, you know, to yeah. some of the smaller villages and beyond our members and customers that were just isolated to Cardiff in the past, which yeah, is where our target audience was. So mm -hmm. this is going to be great. Yeah. Great cocktail um, to go with it. <laughs> exactly. So I've just filled this up with, with ice, um, and then I'm just going to add a little bit of the um, raspberry on top of this. Yep. And what if I got confused and put the raspberry first? Would it change any flavour combos? Am I, again, am I still okay to just... Absolutely not. Freestyle? It's all just going to taste the same okay. whenever you've Great. used it. Yeah. So, so again, that links back to the different choices of different fruits, depending on the different seasons. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, so I've just added a little bit of crushed ice in here. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't have crushed ice at home, you can just use normal ice, but yep. it's nicer just a bit of an effect um, on top. Wow. And then the next thing I'm going to do is just add lemonade to the top. Wow, we don't have much room for lemonade either, do we? That's <laughs> my kind of drink. <laughs> Although, just as a question, why um, would we use lemonade? Is there, is there a specific reason, or could you use tonic or soda water? You can use whatever you like. Obviously... Lemonade will go well with the lemon syrup and it just gives it a little bit of a, a sweeter flavour but okay. if you don't like quite as sweet drinks then you could use soda or if you're using gin you could use tonic and it would just yeah. be a gin and tonic with a lot of fruit. With a lot of fruit, yeah, nice flavour combination. So I'm just going to top this up with the lemonade. Now our glass isn't that big so I don't want to mix it up too much. Amazing. So in terms of a garnish, Obviously, everyone has cocktail sticks at home, uh -huh. and you can just thread a couple of berries on the top here, and you can just add it on top like that. Wow, look so. at that. That looks absolutely amazing. I don't know whether to get a straw or a knife and fork to it. <laughs> it looks so delicious. Well, it has got the fruit in it, so it's basically with this one in five a day. <laughs> yeah. Healthy. Thank you so much. Well, these ah. look absolutely fantastic. And they taste fantastic. Some great products created with some great ingredients from our co-op for Iris Prize Festival. Cheers, Iris Prize. Mm. Cheers, Co-op. I hope you're going to join us all on the 6th 
to the 10th of October. The award ceremony is going to be live streamed on the 10th and you can join us by connecting to irisprize.org. Take care. Happy festival.